Hey everybody, um, finally brought my light in from outside, the paint's dry. Uh, I'd like to give a big shout out to Randy Trazak, I hope I said that right, and Sean Breen, um, who made this possible. Um, they were able to help me get my first flashing yellow uh, arrow set up here. And it's working beautifully. Um, the only thing is in the second yellow arrow, a couple of LEDs are burned out, but you know me, I can fix that. So, but for right now, I'm just gonna leave it as is. Um, you can't see it on camera, but it's like a few in the middle. They're just darked out, but no biggie. Um, let's see, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, let me see if I can get the flash. Nope, I won't let me turn the flash on. Sorry, it's so dark, but get a side shot here. It's red and black. Um, if you can't tell from the pictures, that's the front of it, and um, I'll let it go through a few cycles here. Um, ignore this one over here. That one's um, uh, connected to something else, so those two aren't in sync. So just for now, just ignore this one. Just look at this one. <laughs> Anywho, um, as you can see, neither signal knows who to blame, so they're pointing at each other. <laughs> But now I should change. Okay, that one's changing. And it should go to red and then immediately go to the flashing yellow arrow. There we go. So yeah, um, this is the light. Like Once again, thanks uh, to Randy Trezak and Sean Breen. Um, I always wanted at least one flashing yellow arrow signal in my collection. Just to you know say I have it. Because all the rest of them... All my other lights here, they're just normal, regular cycle lights. Just, uh, they do their own little thing. Um, but yeah, just, uh, other lights here. And let's see, it's back to red. So it'll do green and, um, yellow, red, and then flashing yellow. So yeah, I'm definitely glad that I have it. Oop, it jumped the gun a little bit there. But like I said, ignore that one. They're on two two completely different circuits, so just ignore that one. And um, I'll show you my... I have three lights left, and I'm going to try to do a... Well, two of them, I'm going to try to do a two-way setup. And with the other one, I'm not sure yet. Uh, but it's these ones in my little catch-all room here, my bike and stuff. Hang on for a minute. Okay, just those two. Um, a McCain in a TCT and a Walker Brothers. Um, like I said, these ones are kind of on the back burner right now because I want to try to make a two-way setup. Trying to do it out of wood like I did for this one signal, but it's going to be a little bit more challenging. But I'm happy how this came out. This one um, is a the newer Econo lights with the kind of prism back or whatever. I never knew what kind of shape to call that. It's like a bowl, but it's kind of distorted. You probably can't see it, but it's like a flat, straight. Well, you, you get it. You can see it on camera. Anyway, I'm going to try to make a two-way out of wood, like the pole structure, and try to mount... Those two black ones on there, and then the yellow one, I'm not really sure I'm going to do it with it yet. I'm thinking in the future, I might build a table to put all three of these lights on and raise them up. And then underneath, maybe mount that one under the table uh, horizontally like they do in Texas and Mexico, Florida, whatnot. And I'm um, just have it under the table mounted, and that'll take care of that one. So, but anyway, once again, thanks to... Randy and Sean finally have my flashing yellow arrow light. Now this one is going to go in my bedroom. This because I, as you can see, I don't have room for it in here. And obviously, I can't leave right here in the middle of the hallway. But anyway, it's going to go in my bedroom, and it'll be kind of like a night light per se. And it's LED, so I ain't got to worry about burning up electricity. But anywho, hope you enjoyed watching. This is my updated traffic light video of all the lights I have. And if you want to know the exact count, hang on, to date, got one pedestrian light, two, 
three, four, uh, the one I told you to ignore over here, five, six, the flashing yellow or light, seven, uh, pedestrian light, eight, nine, two cross hind lights, uh, ten, that one over there beside the yellow light, um, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So total right now, I have 16 lights. I'm trying to, I don't want to say this is the last one I'm going to collect, but now I'm just going to go after rare lights instead of just the modern stuff. So that way I can justify making room for it. Like, I'm pretty much got most of the manufacturers now in the different types of like moldings. I know there's a few more out there like Singer and there's a few other ones that I'm I'll keep my eye on, but I'm pretty much done collecting like modern stuff now. The Flash Nail Air was like my last one of the modern stuff. But I say that and then I see something else and I'm like, ooh, I gotta have that one. You have to know how else collectors think. <laughs> anyway, that's my collection. Have a good night.